Hello everyone and welcome back to Nobunaga's Ambition Taishi. This is a sponsored video by Koei Tecmo, and if you missed my video a couple of weeks ago, we explored this new strategy title and attempted to get to grips and take a little bit of Japan, as in conquer, not actually like take a holiday there. So today we're going to jump in once again, but just in case you missed the previous video, Nobunaga's Ambition is all about the Warring States period in Japan, so you control a faction during the 16th century and attempt to unite Japan under one banner. Now I'm going to be going through the game once again, and I believe before we did play as Nobunaga Oda, but we're going to change the clan we play as today, and we're going to give the Mori clan a try. As you can tell, our leader here looks to be a wise old gentleman, or warrior, probably, probably warrior, and we're going after total unity. If we can make our hearts as one, we can overcome any trial, no matter how trying. So if you're happy to see Nobunaga's ambition Taishi back on the channel, please do leave a like, really does help. And if you've got any questions or ideas or anything you'd like to see, just comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> you will make this enjoyable, will you not? Well, I hope so. Also, if you want to check out the game for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to the US homepage and the EU homepage. So if you want to pick up Nobunaga's Ambition, that's where you can do it. Ooh! I probably should have realised this before, but you can change the map. Noish. Ah, my son is telling me how to play, but we have no need for this, for I am maybe kind of competent at the game now. So here is the map of Japan. As you can see, there are many, many clans vying for power. And our position here is not looking too secure at all. We've got enemies pretty much, well, potential enemies, pretty much everywhere. And of course, we're going to have a little bit of a cheeky war, aren't we? We will simply walk our own path, let us focus on dealing with our territory for now. Now that seems like a good sign for me to declare war, doesn't it? Because they don't appear to have any allied clans. Oh my, I think we found our first target. Da -da 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 -da. Off we go. And our allies are also joining us. Good. And then we're getting provisions from our allies. Noish. Now what we can also do is delegate certain decisions to our, well, our council. So I might actually delegate agriculture and mm, commerce for the moment. So that makes the micromanaging easier for us. And as you can see, our forces are assembling. Good. Okay, so our army of 4,000 will be marching towards theirs of 3,398. So, I think we might be able to take them out. Okay, so if we march into their territory, we will engage. Here we go. Victory in this battle will fall upon both sides' leadership. Will you take command? Yes. And then I can show you. The, 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 the victory that we'll hopefully achieve here. Look, young man, when I ask for tactical advice, then then I'll let you know, but you're going to suggest a tactic and skirmish for this battle. I don't know if I agree. So I have no plan to rush the main camp, a phantom, lure provocation, or full charge. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of options. Well, you know what, young man? I take back what I say. I'm going to give you a shot. Okay, begin the battle of Katsushi. Aha! No, I don't require tutorial about battles. Pfft. You are speaking to the expert here. And as you can see, we have a nice aggressive wedge. And we're just going to go full on in. So we're wishing our commands to our units. Uh, doing so, you can also change the angle. So, da -da 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 -da. Oh, whoa, let's go for a dance party. But no, not really. So I'm going to try and get my units in easy support of each other. So that way they can support them. Ha cha cha cha. And then we play and we see ourselves running over the mountains. Kind of, I, I believe. Okay, so the enemy controls several outposts as you can see here and here. And I imagine, oh gosh, they're being quite aggressive already. So I do rather like how the battles play out. And you'll see in a moment that they'll actually have different... Uh, kind of each unit has different abilities potentially to use. Now, I don't want to rush in. In fact, that was probably a bit too aggressive of me. So you can just... Let's we'll form line and then conquest is assured. I have a feeling that I... Well, unless they do a number on me. 
I don't think I'll lose. Oh no, that's famous last words, isn't it, Alex? Don't don't say it. So as you can see, oh no, <laughs> oh no. Okay, well if you have ideas, tell me now. So we'll have to engage that unit because they currently outnumber my other unit about two to one. So we'll look to try and flank. You can just hold your position. We'll adjust our way of looking at things slightly. We'll move our leader up to support. Okay, but I was hoping for more variety in my units. I didn't realise that... Oh, no. I didn't realise that most of my units were all spears. I, I believe I had some cavalry old guns, but maybe I don't. Okay, so as you can see, we're engaging, and their morale is dropping very rapidly. I think that's because I'm getting decent flanking positions. So we'll actually charge in our leader too. You can keep up the pressure. You can charge. Oh, you had an idea. Here we go. Yes, you can charge. Very good. Okay, so I think we're actually close to routing. Oh, they're raiding. No, nope, they're broken. We've broken them. Good. So if we can keep pushing them back... Oh, yes, you can see up in the top corner here. We're now numbered them by over a thousand. Okay, a lot of people have plans. What would you like to do? Tactician. You do your tactics, sir. Okay, so we're attacking once again. I think the battles are going fairly well and people are more retreating. Okay, people are retreating. We're forcing them back. Their morale is just terrible. Yes, annihilate them. So this guy looks to be getting surrounded on all sides and... I think we'll break him this time. Yep, there we go. Broken! And victory has now been won. Noish! Okay, we're going to march to the castle and see if we can... Oh, they're mustering. But we've surrounded them. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh! My oh my, we are in a pretty good position at the minute. More gold, more provisions. Good! Stamp of approval. Okay, so we are at war. So you get to pick three advisors and choose their policies. Now, I do need to go after the more military-style focused ones because I am heavily into war. <laughs> so here we go. Provision consumption is down. If I select supply squad, we would agree. And then, as you can see, I have points up the top, which I can spend on different policies, which will then help increase. And this turn I should finally have finished the siege and we should take that castle from them. And then I'll march on to their final bastion. There we go, our first conquest of the day. Noish. So I might be wrong, but this could be their final castle. Yes, they were. Nice. Wow, look at that shining star giving me all of these. Ooh, thank you, Kodama. Ah, I declared war on the Amargo, but the Yamana have decided to help them, but they will join us, and both of our allies join us. Good. I am unsure how this is going to go, because I think I am outnumbered in this war. I'm assembling multiple armies now. Oh, to try and strike at multiple points. I guess I'll try and hold my ground here, but I'm outnumbered by over 2,000. Oh my god, my provisions are going terribly. I'm going to request reinforcements for the Uragami and see if they'll give me stuff. Another 1,800 soldiers will, will, will help. Oh, mm, that's a lot of gold, but I'll do it. Rapidly running out of provisions, so I might see if we can't take on that larger force. I, I, I don't think actually what we'll do. Yes. Genius stroke. Right, we're going to ambush the smaller force. Yes. Then hopefully I can just sue for peace, because I've definitely bitten off more than I can chew. <laughs> uh, and now we're going to march out and try and engage that 4500. Yes, we will take command, and then I, then I will sue for peace. Whew. Okay, are we attacking up here? No, it's all kind of going down in the valley, so I'll just hold my position here and form up in hopefully a relatively decent line, so we're not going to get ambushed okay oh but they've been located and that is a large size we found okay stay stay put we need to hold positions until we are formed up but if i can pin them down we might have a decent shot you would like to death drive go ahead okay 
We are holding, and then morale is going down because we have cavalry charging the rear. In we go, cat. Oh no, they're sending in reinforcements. So I'll bring my cavalry back. Move up the infantry along with our main general. And hopefully. Oh, they still outnumber us slightly. But we are holding well. Okay, we might try and chase those down with the cav. And start moving in to crush their main force. So most of their forces are either withdrawing or have been crushed. And we have annihilated them. Oh, yes. I think... I will try and see if they will take peace. Hopefully they'll accept, otherwise I am going to be in a very, 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 very poor situation. Ah, oh, okay, we've got peace. Just as an AK army was coming in, oh my goodly gosh. And as you can see, I have expanded my territory slightly more into theirs, so that's, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. So hopefully I've given you a nice taste of a more powerful faction in Nobunaga's ambition, Taishi. If you do would like to check the game out for yourself, once again there will be links in the description. When companies such as Koei Tecmo approach me, it really does help out the channel. So, once again, many thanks to them for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment and all that jazz, and it's farewell from me. And it's farewell from him. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Doombringer437, Zazzy, Goran Gamer, Hunter Griefers, The Hardmeister, Red, Sam, Greyshot, Logan, King Gaming, King Vaults, Martin Shaw, Nico Manning, Feedback Gaming, Wyatt Green, and Oscar for being ridiculous rounders supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. 